Hey everyone, welcome back to another Permaslug episode. My name is Jonathan, and today I wanted to share with you a quick tip. This is something that I'm actually working on for myself and realized I hadn't actually done that to this site, which is that I have a blog post template set up on the site. As you can see here, this is my actual Permaslug website. And this is a written review for a new gaming desk that I bought myself for Christmas, along with a couple other goodies like a monitor stand and a boom mic arm. Uh, but basically, I added some images to the inner content in the actual back end of the WordPress post editor. And what you'll notice is I set the image width to be the full size, and it looks good in the back end here. But in the actual front end of Oxygen, the image is stretched because the image is way bigger than my page width, with it, which I think is set to default at like 1120 pixels. So you'll notice the image stretches improperly, and of course, you wouldn't actually want that. So this is super simple to fix. This is one line of CSS, and I'll just show you in the Chrome inspect tool real quick how you can actually fix that. So by default, the max width is gonna be set to 100%, but we need to add one more thing, which is a height of auto. So if you just add the CSS height auto, then you can see the image is now fixed, and it stretches and looks good. So it's a little bit big, but I'd rather the image be full width here in the inner content rather than too small and kind of look a little goofy. Uh, but you can see then that basically applies to all the rest of the images on my page there. So that's really easy to add. But of course, if you refresh, that's not going to actually fix it. So we need to go into an oxygen template and add that CSS to our style sheet. So in this case, I'm just gonna to go to edit all post template and we'll go from there. So in my post template here, I don't actually have a video review for this. This is just a written review for this particular post. So I have a condition set to hide this section, which is why you see the section in the back end, but not the front end. Now, more importantly to the point, if you look, the image is still stretched. And so all we need to do is go to manage, add a style sheet. And in our style sheet, we just need to add that one line of CSS. So it's just image, height, Auto. As simple as that. And you can see it already updates for us in real time. Now, the thing about adding the style sheet is that that is going to load the CSS across the entire site. So actually, I should probably change this gravity form styles to only load on the pages that have gravity forms, which you could do with a code block. So the reason why I'm using a style sheet here is because there's going to be lots of posts across my whole site, and I don't want to have to go add them manually. So this little line of CSS here uh, make that look a little bit prettier. That little line of CSS is going to apply across the whole site because we added it to a style sheet. So let's save and take a look at this on the front end now. And so there we go. Now the image is stretched to fit properly, both vertically and horizontally, and that's going to apply to all my images with just that one little simple line of CSS. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to see this review, visit my website at premislug.com. And full disclosure, these links are affiliate. That never increases your price, but it does give me a little kickback. I really appreciate you supporting me in that way. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in a future video.